A very simple dish, vegetable risotto. And there's no exact recipe really. It's very, very simple. It's rice, it's vegetable stock, and then whatever vegetables you've got. Certain vegetables don't work in risottos, certain vegetables do. Courgettes are fantastic, broad beans are fantastic, asparagus, pimentos, peas, a few shallots at the start, carrots, finished with a bit of butter and a bit of parmesan, and nor vegetable stock pop. And it's all done in about 18 minutes from start to finish. A little olive oil, a few shallots, some pimentos. You can just make asparagus, you can just make pea risotto. You know, it's your choice. Once you've got the confidence of making it, and risotto should be made to order a la minute, it shouldn't be made in advance. And the best way of doing it is working in the stock bit by bit. I know some people pre-cook the rice. It's not fantastic, for the simple reason is once you've started to cook it, and you cook it on a tray, it continues to cook because the moisture's in it. It's not the same, it ends up more like a pudding than the risotto. As you can see, I'm cooking the shallots and the pimento together to remove the water content, which then shows off the true flavour of the shallot and the red pepper. See, because they're very finely chopped, they release their water very quickly, so you've got to be careful not to, to colour them. In with the rice, about 175. Moisture with a little white wine. Boil the wine to remove the acidity. It's very important to keep on working the rice, because if you don't work the rice, it cooks unevenly, it might catch. So therefore, keep on working it, add the stock bit by bit, so therefore it starts to absorb it. The rice releases its starch, which gives it that creaminess at the end. Everyone likes their risotto slightly different. I like mine quite wet. Some people like it a little bit more firm. So as you can see, the way I make my risotto, everything's being concentrated, flavors, the stock, it's all being brought. It's all about concentration of flavors. I like my risotto to be quite strong in flavour, but at the same time quite delicate. A handful of carrots, some broad beans. So we've got about four or five minutes to go, and as you can see, we've started to add certain vegetables. We've added the broad beans, we've added the carrots. Peas will be the last with the asparagus and the courgette. Add some asparagus, add some courgettes. Last bit of stock. As I've always said, you know, a watch is a guideline. You should never allow a watch to dictate when you're cooking. Again, it depends on the pan you're using, the stove you're using. It's only a guideline, 60 minutes, 80 minutes. And some people like their risotto cooked a little less than others, some like it cooked a little bit more. So, so you can see it's almost there. The consistency is about right. Again, Parmesan is to your palate. Not everyone likes a lot of Parmesan. And then some butter. Not too much. So you can see we just allow the Parmesan to melt. Allow the butter to soften before we incorporate it all in. And then let's bring it together. And there's vegetable risotto. Some people think it's difficult, it's very easy. What you have to do there is get everything prepared beforehand. So when it comes to that moment when you've got to cook dinner, it's 20 minutes, max.